After seeing the books, Spain's new government says the country's worse off than expected. It revealed the public deficit for 2011 is 8% of gross domestic product, well over the official target of 6%. Now it's announced a raft of new taxes and public spending cuts to tackle the deficit. Deputy Prime Minister Soraya Saiz de Santa Maria outlined cuts worth 8.9 billion euros. Estamos ante una situación extraordinaria y no prevista. We are facing an extraordinary and unexpected situation which will require extraordinary and unexpected measures. But I want to say that the government will not hesitate in facing up to a situation which we need to face up to if we want to regain credibility and help this country out of the crisis. Y sacar a este país de la crisis. In one of the first decrees since it comfortably won the election at the end of November, the government will freeze civil servants' pay. But this will be followed by an increase in income and property tax. The government's promised to turn the economy around and tackle high unemployment while reforming the labour market. Spaniards have mixed feelings about the new austerity measures. We'll have to see if this means cuts in social welfare. Any cut in social welfare is regrettable. The same goes for freezing wages. I think it's wrong. It would be fair to cut spending on things that aren't considered basic necessities. We'll have to get on with it. I think it will affect some people more than others, but we have to assume there's no choice. There are undoubtedly tough times ahead, but Spaniards do appear to believe such measures are necessary. A survey published recently in El País newspaper showed 49% understand more sacrifices need to be made to emerge from the crisis. Joanna Partridge, Reuters.